In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an Instagram clone using Swift UI. This is what the Instagram clone app is going to look like. We're going to be creating four pieces for this Instagram app. We need a top navigation bar, home stories, a post with a header, content, and description, as well as a tab bar at the bottom of the screen. Let's get started by creating a new SwiftUI project and saving it somewhere on our desktop. You can name this IG clone. Now here we're going to import all of the images that we're going to be using. Click on this assets file and drag in all the images that will be provided in the description down below. And here you can make a folder for all of these. All right, first thing we need to do is create the top navigation bar. Let's start off by creating an H stack and putting in the logo image. Let's resize this and make it a bit smaller so that it fits better. We'll give it a height of 48 and a width of 100. Next, let's add a spacer to push it to the left side of the screen. And now we'll create another H stack. And here, we're going to be adding in the buttons. So here we're going to be using the system images. First is going to be the plus sign. We'll have a heart and then a message icon. Now outside of this H stack, we need to add some padding to the left and the right side. So vertical, we're gonna say 16 and padding horizontal, we'll say eight. And after this, we can make a spacer to push it up to the top. Let's change up the font of the icons by changing it to size 24. Now click Command and select this H stack, Extract View, and now let's rename this to Header View. This is going to help for organization in our project. There we go, there's our Header View. Next, we need to create an individual story icon. Let's start off by creating a V stack. And inside of here, we're going to say another V stack. And now let's get to one of these people images. So let's say person underscore one. Now we need to resize this and make it a bit smaller. So let's give it a frame. Width is going to be 60, height is going to be 60. And now let's give it a corner radius of 60 to make it circular. And an overlay of shape style circle. On the circle, we'll add a stroke. And inside of here, we're going to add a linear gradient. We need to pass in colors. Here you can say blue, purple, red, Start point is going to be top leading and end point is going to be bottom trailing. And let's set a line width of 2.5. And now we need to add a frame to this of a size, let's say 70 and height 70. So it comes on the outside like so.
Now let's add the text. So we'll say someone's name here. And so let's give it a font of caption. That's it for the story icon. Let's command click on this VStack and extract to another sub view. Here we're going to rename it. And we'll say story view. Inside of story view, we're going to be passing in some parameters to this view. First is going to be an image, which is a string, and the next is going to be name, which is a string. Let's create a public initializer and pass in those parameters and set it to this uh, view on the inside. We'll say self.image equals this image that gets passed in, self.name equals this name. And now let's replace these right here for image and the text. So this actually is supposed to be image. And now we pass in the parameters to the story view. So here we'll say person one and someone's name. Next, we're going to create a collection of stories which are horizontal. Create a scroll view horizontal, show indicators false. Put in the story view inside of here and now duplicate it a couple of times. As you can see, they go on the vertical direction. We need to create an H stack inside of this um, for the story view. So duplicate it now, and now it should be scrolling horizontally. Let's add a spacing of 16 and padding, Let's say horizontal is going to be eight. And let's say vertical is going to be 12. Now we need to make one modification on the story view. We need to add another frame to this V stack. We'll say height 70. And see right here, it's getting cut off a little. So what we have to do is change up this right here to 68 and this one to 68 and now it looks perfect. Now let's go right here and change up all of the people inside of the stories. Great, now we can press this run icon and see how it looks in the simulator. So now you should be able to scroll horizontally and see all of these stories. Let's extract sub view and call this home stories view. There we go, so those are the home stories. Next, we're going to add a divider and an H stack for our post header. Inside of this H stack, we'll have another H stack. First, we're going to have the image of the person and we'll resize it and make a size smaller. Let's say something like width is going to be 40 and height will be also 40. So we have this right here. Now let's add the corner radius of 40. Awesome, now let's add text of person one and change the font to caption. And also we need to have a font weight of bold to make it bold. Now we're gonna add a spacer to push it to the left side. And then add a system image of ellipsis for the uh, menu icon for, for options. Let's add a padding of vertical, say 12, and padding horizontal of eight.
extract this to a sub view and let's call this post header view. Next, we have to create the post content. Let's create a VStack and put the first post image. We need to resize this and add a frame. Width is going to be infinity. Height will be 400. And now let's say aspect ratio is fit. Next, we're going to create an H stack with a couple of system images. Say image. First system image is going to be heart for liking. Next will be message for comments and an envelope to send this post to someone else. Let's add a spacer and another image, let's say bookmark to bookmark the post. And let's give this uh, HStack a font of 24 to make it a bit bigger. And now outside of this VStack, we need to create a padding horizontal of 12. And then padding vertical, eight. Actually move this padding right here to this internal H stack. There we go. Now let's extract the sub view. And rename it to post content view. There you can also pass in parameters, but we're not going to do that. Next, let's create the post description and comment section. Let's create this VStack and put in the header view and content view inside of it. And this VStack is going to have uh, alignment of leading and spacing of zero. Now create another VStack here. And alignment is also going to be leading. Now let's have text for the liked by person two and 10 others. Now we'll have text for, this is the user generated description. And let's put padding horizontal of 12. Next, we need to set a frame of infinity And now inside of here, let's create another H stack, two H stacks. First is going to be the person two. Resizable, resize this to make it a bit smaller. Let's say 30 by 30. So we got this uh, person right here. And then we need text, add a comment. And we need to change the foreground color to secondary. Now under this, add a spacer. And here we're going to create an H stack with the emojis. So press the emoji button and add a couple of emojis here. And here, this is going to be the system image of plus dot circle to add another emoji. Great, let's extract this to a sub view. And let's call it post description view. We need to make one small correction inside of post content view. For aspect ratio, uh, comment this out. All right, so let's extract this sub view to another view and let's call it 
post view, which is going to encapsulate the header view, content view, and the description view. Let's now create a list of posts, create a scroll view, vertical, shows indicators, false. And inside of here, we're going to put this first post view inside of it. And also everything but the header view because we want the header view to stay at the top of the screen. And then here we can just duplicate post view a couple of times. Now let's run it in the simulator and see how it looks. There we go, there's our list of posts. Next, we're going to create the tab bar. Create a VStack with spacing of zero. And inside of here, we're going to need a divider. Now we need an HStack. And inside of this HStack, we're going to have system images followed by spacer. Here, we're going to put house for the first one. And that's gonna be right here. Second one is going to be magnifying glass for search. Third is going to be display for Instagram reels. Fourth one is going to be bag for shopping. And the last one is going to be the user's profile. So we can just put person two, resizable, and put a frame. Width is going to be, let's say, 24 and height 24. Also add that corner radius. On the outside of this uh, H-stack, we need to have padding of horizontal 16. Actually, we'll say 24. And padding top of 12. There we go, there's our tab bar. Let's change the font size to, let's try out 24, see how that looks. Maybe 20, 20 is pretty good. Great, let's extract this sub view and call this the tab bar view. The last step was creating the tab bar. After this, we have created the home page of the Instagram app. Here's the final demo of our application. So here we can scroll through the home stories and then we can scroll through the posts down here. None of the buttons work, but in a later video, I might show you how to connect this to Firebase and have live data. If you found this video useful, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You can connect with me on LinkedIn or join our Discord. All of the links will be in the description down below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Goodbye now.